Thanks to a sheriff's boat, we were able to take a tour of the community behind me and see some of the flooding that's happened. And unfortunately, it's very substantial. We saw some buildings with only their roofs poking out of the water. We saw box trucks that were basically completely submerged. Um, really substantial, substantial damage. There are some homes that are okay. There were some that are up on stilts or just happened to be in a higher area. Unfortunately, we just spoke to the sheriff and he said that the water here is actually expected to rise and things could get worse. these residents are used to a little bit of flooding they're not used to this amount of flooding and the worst part is they're not used to this amount of flooding in such a short period of time I was talking to one of the residents who went to bed last night saw about a foot of water and said hey we're gonna be okay only to wake up today and saw they were in six feet of water sad and scary part is we don't believe the river is crested yet. When you have 16 inches of water in some areas in northern Tampa that are still flooded, that water still has to come south. Mother Nature does a great job. She has a plan. It goes into the river and then river out into the bay. So there's a lot more water to come. We've rescued individuals on jet skis, our john boats, uh, our amphibious vehicle, you saw our shirt behind us out and about, uh, and, and along with our airboats. You have to remember, this, this looks like a boat ramp. This is an entrance into a neighborhood. This isn't a boat ramp. That's how flooded this area is. There's cars underwater. Some homes are completely underwater. All you see is the apex of the house. Again, please, I'm asking that you say a prayer for this community here because uh, they've lost everything. concern is 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 this water continues to get deeper the affected individuals and communities are going to continue to grow we haven't seen the worst of this yet this water is contaminated this isn't your crystal spring let's go you know do the beach kind of water this is absolutely contaminated A lot of this community left, they, they knew that the flooding was coming. Again, it's not their fault, the residents that stayed, they knew there'd be some flooding. Everyone was predicting it to be two to three days out and didn't know how, how horrible it would be. They never expected it to be this much in such a short period of time and it caught a lot of them off guard.